Hi, my name is Suzanne Grandy. I am a certified master groomer and I like to share my passion for grooming with you. This is Lola. She is about nine months old and she is going to get a lamb trim. So let's get started. I have less than an hour to get Lola finished. So let's get busy with her face, feet and tail. You ready, Lola? I'm going to start with my clipper on a tin blade and shave the sides of her face and the front of her neck. Good girl. I always go with the grain on these areas. I have approximately 55 minutes to do the complete groom. So now I'm going against the grain from the corner of the eyes to the lip, and from the lip and the bottom of the chin forward. Good girl, it's okay. Now I will shave Lola's feet with a 40 blade. I don't go any higher than where the foot bends down. Right here you can feel the bones as the foot bends down. I use my finger up underneath to push the webbing of the foot up. All right, so now Lola is ready to go take her bath and we will be back in a minute and get her trimmed up. This is the lamb trim in the Poodle Clipping and Grooming book by Shirley Calstone. All right, I am back with Lola. And we're going to get started scissoring her lamb trim. Let's see if I can find the scissors I'd like to use. There they are. I'm going to use my 7 inch Jaguar gold scissors. Get her hair combed out nicely. For speed's sake, I combed the entire side of the dog. Put you where you can see better. Now I'm going to create a level top line, straight up the middle, sinking my scissors into the hair. I want to take off a decent amount here. Going right up to about the dip behind the shoulder blades. Had a few tangles, so I do not want to leave her with too much coat. And the haircut before the last one, she had a neck band shaped, so I'm growing her neck hair back out a little bit. So I do not need to take off much there. she was spayed so she had the bands shaved around the front legs from her spay and those have just grown back in I'm going to angle this back and bring it in tight to give her some length of neck don't want her too heavy with hair Because I combed the entire side of the dog, I can continue on with my scissoring without having to stop and recomb. 
I will recomb it again when I go around her the second time. So I'm keeping my hand level and I'm swaying or moving at the waist to, to get the motion. in her shoulder angle and go straight down. I'll do her bevels last. to tangle here that I missed in the comb out, so I'm going to pick that out with the brush. I'm going to cut in some angulation, give her a little bit of curve on her back leg. Good girl. All right, let's turn this way. I like to train the dogs I work on to stand nicely. Like I said, I think she's about nine months old now. This whole area combed out. Everywhere where I plan on scissoring. Did the top line when I was on the other side of her. This neck area where she's got all this heavy hair. And it's okay. I'm going to show her angles here. So when I come in here, I'm going to come in at an angle with my scissors level like this. Create her angle here and then here I am showing her point of shoulder outline her nice confirmation you can see it better from this angle so shoulder bone here come up here go back here Go in on her neck a bit. Good 
bring her underside down to her elbow or where her elbow should be. Hers is in the right place so I can follow her body conformation. Going to bring her tuck up into the last rib. Do a little windshield wiper motion here to give it some shape. So she has that cute little body. Scissoring is a pattern. And when you're hand scissoring, you think of the pattern that you're trying to create. And most of the times you're trying to show off the conformation of the dog, whether it's a pet trim or a show trim. So when I think about the pattern of hand scissoring, just like a pattern of any other haircut, I have the shape in my mind that I want. What I want is point a shoulder to point a rump. I want the neck coming down into the legs, the back foot coming in in front of the tail there. I want to see whether it's a pet dog or a show dog that I have a very pretty little animal in front of me. When she's out in the backyard looking at a squirrel, I want her to be breathtaking. Some groomers say, oh, I don't do show grooming. This isn't a show dog. She could be, but she's not. She's a pet, but she can be just as stunning. Can't you, darling? So you can see I have the neck in quite tight here. Let me see you. Come up on you. short up underneath. She doesn't need all this hair. Now we're going to do her top knot. And I'm, I've got my scissors angled out, not straight up. So I'm going to go all the way around with my scissors angled outward. You can lay down, honey. So one of the big mistakes people make when they're scissoring top knots is they cut in too tight over the ears. And if the dog has a bad ear set, it gives what you call a pinched top knot where it comes together when the ears are perked up. To avoid this, I turn my scissors straight out, come in over the ear, and I'm only cutting the line. I'm not cutting up into the top knot. And if a dog does have a pinch top knot, and I know it, I will do that with thinning shears instead. And I'm going to just bring the shape around. And then I'll turn her sideways, do this part. So by keeping my scissors angled out like this, it gives me this nice overhang. So I want my height and balance with the dog. And I want a little bit of neck hair coming up here. So when I do the back of the top knot, I'm bringing it up from the neck hair. Bringing this up behind the ear, nice and tight. And 
and then I'll just go forward keeping the height that I want. Now customers do not want a top knot that's going to fall or flop or get in the eyes. So you can keep a high top knot and avoid that by coming in from say the nose here, taking a little bit off here, taking a little bit angling it up. Instead of coming in tight over the ears, you build it up so that as it starts to grow out, it's got this angle that it's falling into and it keeps its shape. Good girl. Kiwi Fury Boy. Do her pom pom here. A big mistake people make on the tails is shaving off too big of a band. The band on her tail is probably about an inch from the pom-pom to the body. So I'm going to brush the hair down. And then put the foot on the floor and just scissor around. If you watch me groom, you notice that I pick my dogs up from the front end and the back end and set them down four square many times. This teaches them where I want their feet and keeps them steady. If I turned her body as we went, it would give her something to push against. If I was doing this, she's pushing. So if I just pick her up, and set her down. Gets her right in place really quickly. And she's like, oh, that's where you want me. Right? That's where I want my Lola. Hello, hello, Lola. Grown Magic Boo Scissoring Spray. Good girl. Mist her over. And comb her up one final time. Make sure everything's all nice and even.
That's a quick and easy lamb trim. And she is ready to go home. Right, see, man? You ready? Let's fix that tail. Let's fix that tail. Yeah. Can I have kisses? You want to go bye-bye? Yeah? Oh. Good girl. Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. You ready to bye-bye? Yes, you ready to bye-bye. Easy. Say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss a single video.